Hello and welcome to another data recording session. Okay, so today we're going to work on uh, semester two, experiment five. Okay, set five, and uh, this is question one. So in this experiment, you will investigate the motion of a pendulum. Okay, and uh, whose swing is interrupted dependent on its length. So as usual, these are past year questions. So. Hopefully you know where to find the question and the manual to refer to. I will not be giving too much guidance because the intention by the time we reach lab number five is that you can complete the lab pretty much independently. So if you're watching this at home while preparing for your AS, I would highly recommend you use your imagination and also the footage provided for you to imagine and visualize the difficulty in actually setting up the experiment. Because when someone like someone sets it up, especially someone like me, who is also a teacher, when we set it up, it seems very easy. But if you try it, you will encounter a lots of difficulties. So, uh, yep. So that's all. Let's go. So here, they you are asked to measure a length of um, eighteen centimeters from the middle of the bob to the mark. So as you can see from the uh, footage beside me this is the the bob and then this is the mark okay so uh, i've already measured it okay and uh just for you to i guess just to reassure you i will place the ruler here okay somewhere here and you can see that the mark is roughly at the 18 cm point okay in case you can't see. All right, so it's already roughly 80. Okay, so all of this uh, measurement um, try to be as accurate as possible, but, as, but if it's a lab recording, there's only so much that can be done. Right? Okay, so again, in case you need it, you can pause the video. Okay, you can pause the video. All right, I think give or take one or two mm is pretty good. All right, so this mark is right beside the uh, wooden rod. The okay, so as you can see from the second part of the uh, setup, okay, there are a few measurements indicated here. The first one would be the bob, and the bob is five centimeters above the surface of the table. So I'm going to adjust the camera a bit right now so you can see the surface of the table. Okay, also to try to minimize uh, any any and all parallax errors. Okay. Are we good? The camera? Okay, this is super close. But um this is not the table by the way. This is the base of the retort stand. So we kinda like want this to be close enough, okay? So you can see if uh, I'm going to put my, I guess, hmm. Okay, so just give me a sec to align it for you. I think you can pause the video. Lah. The 5cm five, five point is here. Okay, 5cm is here. And it is more or less right beside the pendulum. Okay. So to keep this at five centimeters from the table to this pendulum, and also at the same time, um, we are going to have to make sure that the mark is there. All right. So let me readjust the camera first. Okay. So you can see this one is the front view. Okay. And uh, just let me double check. Okay. I need to check if I'm recording. Anyway, you can see this is the front view and uh, the black color mark, this black color mark is right beside the wooden rod. Okay, so this length is going to be kept constant. This value of L, uh, 0 0.118 meter, is going to stay the same. But also at the same time, you are supposed to measure the value of X from the bottom of the uh, split cork, which I will show you later. It is on top here, okay, to the center of the pendulum bob. Right, and it says here that the center of the bob should be 5 cm as shown just now. 
approximately. Distance x between the bottom of the slit cork and the center of the bob should be approximately 55 centimeters. So the value of x should be 55. Uh, you measure from the bottom to the center of the pendulum. Measure and record the distance x. So approximately, um, meaning I'm not going, I didn't stick very close to making sure that it, it is exactly 55. So what I'll do here for you to record your measurement is I will show you the ruler. Okay, the ruler here is touching the table surface and it is at 100 centimeters reading or 1 cm, I guess, depending on which scale you are using. I will use the scale on the right simply because it is closer to the split cock and hence easier to read. So now I will move my camera upwards. Sorry, shaky cam time. Okay, so you can see the split cock is here. Okay, and I would like to also emphasize one thing about the split cork or any kind of pendulum question. So if you look at the split cork, you will notice that, um, okay, sorry, uh, angle, a bit difficult. So this split cork's length can be adjusted by pulling and pushing the rope. Okay, and this can only happen when you pull and push the rope if... You didn't wound the split cork, okay? So you can see I have already adjusted the length. So it, it, it can be pushed and pulled. Alright, so let me try to pull it back to the... Something like this. Cool. Okay, so we are going to measure the bottom of this split cork. So you know the reading touching the table. And now for the value of x, we will take the bottom of this split cork to the reading that is on the meter rule. So you can take that reading. Okay, and uh, you know what to do. Pause the video. Okay, I'm trying to give you a good reading with no parallax error. So you can pause the video, take this reading, and do necessary subtraction to find the value of x. All right, it doesn't exactly have to be 55. It just have to be close enough to 55. All right, let me pause and readjust the camera. Okay, here we are at the front view again. And it says to displace the bob by 5 cm. Okay, release it and watch this movement. Okay, so it's obviously going to oscillate. Uh, somewhere along the line, the rod will actually change the length of the oscillation. Okay, so record enough readings to determine the accurate value for T taken for one complete swing. Alright, so just follow the instruction. I think you know what to do. So get ready your stopwatch. We will begin recording it. So as usual, I will give you more reading than necessary because in case you think that certain methods of execution that I have done is not favorable or you think certain uh, readings can be ignored. So I will do it three times. Uh, you decide how many times you think is important. So once again, please take out a stopwatch and record what you think is necessary for this oscillation. So it says uh, move to the side for about five centimeters, right? Okay, I will try. I'm gonna have to make sure it's closer, that the string is touching or as close as I can make it. Okay, there we go. And I will also try to adjust the position of the mark so it's right beside the split cork here. Okay, so I hope that captures clearly on the screen. Okay, we can begin now. So I'm going to move it about 5 centimeters. About. And then I will release. You know what, I think maybe a white background will be better. So BRB, I'll add a white background for you. But if you want to measure this, you can. 
I will add a white background for the next one. Okay, so hopefully that is enough cycles. I'm going to add a white background for you to see it better. Okay, we have now a white color backdrop. The best that I can afford right now. So I'm going to repeat the measurements again. Roughly 5 centimeters. Okay, and release. Okay, so that was roughly 30 oscillations. Okay, and I'll repeat again for the second time. So again, um, roughly 5 centimeters. I'm just eyeballing it because it doesn't really matter. Okay, I believe that is enough. You already have three different sets of readings. Okay, please make sure you follow the instruction carefully. Right? Okay, so now what I'll do is I will reduce the distance x. The x just now was 55, but I need to keep my L constant. Meaning the distance between this rod and the pendulum bob have to stay the same. Okay, um, so the only way that I can do this uh, is by bringing the split cork closer and reducing the length at the same time. So this this not this part not supposed to change. So what I'm changing is actually the top part. I'm changing this part here. Okay, so what I'll do or what you should be doing in the lab when you think about it is to bring this split cork down and shorten the length such that this is still 5 cm and this is still 18 I mean sorry I didn't know you can't see this is still 5 cm and this thing is still 18 cm all right so uh, I'm going to reduce the distance of x uh, and uh, I will keep the ruler at the side so you can actually measure along on what x is so it says reduce the distance x, meaning the largest value of x that I can have is 55. Of course, it is a good habit to um, have your table in such a way where the largest value of your independent variable is underneath. So i.e. your table should look something like this. But of course, it's up to you. You can start with the first one. It's just a good impression. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, keep changing, shortening it by 5 cm. So I'll do 50, 45, 40, 35. I mean, I think I can reduce all the way to 5. I believe 
We'll see if that's possible. If not, then it will be 10. Okay. So I will take uh, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Uh, is it necessary to have that many reading? Mm. Well, we only need six, but you know me. I like to have everything as reasonably possible. So 15, 10, and 5. Okay, so this is a range issue. Okay, so as we go down the table, uh, you should record your period using the best practices of recording oscillation. All right, so I hope you know what those best practices are. If not, go find out. So I'm not going to write anything here. I'll just tell you what my lengths are. I'm going to start with this one first. So as I do, I will highlight. So currently we will do 55. We have already done 55 cm. Done. 55 cm is this one. Or if you don't think it's 55, just now from your reading, you can put your own reading lah. As long as it's around 55. Okay. So now I'm going to decrease the whole setup by 5 centimeters. Okay, so I guess I could angle it upwards a bit so you can see what I'm trying to do. So as previously mentioned, I'll bring down the split cork by 5 centimeters and shorten the length. I hope I don't knock down anything. Okay, um, that ruler is just for your reference. I tend to use this one more. So I'm going to, um, I have to make sure this one is still here. So I will shorten this rope by four, by five centimeters. So I use the mark as a guide. Okay. And I'll bring up the mark by about five cm ish. So somewhere here. So the mark has moved up and what I'll do is I'll now bring down this such that the mark will meet the rod again. Middle of the rod. Okay. So it looks pretty okay to me. And now I'll bring the camera close so you can measure the new second reading of X. Okay, remember the ruler hasn't moved, so I'm trying to adjust for parallax error. So I think I was aiming for 50. So this is slightly less than 50. Let me adjust it again. There are many parallax errors. Okay, close enough. I need this one to not fall down. <laughs> so this is why they gave you a mark. If you find the pendulum sliding down halfway, what you have to do is actually to tighten the screw a bit. Okay. So let's look at the reading again. Or well, at least I think this is closer to 55. I mean, sorry, 50. Okay, so somewhere here. I mean, if you want to be super accurate, which you should if you're actually doing the, the actual paper. Okay, it's kind of hard for me because I have to wear my headset as well. So give me a sec. Okay, I'm just going to do it real time with you once and then after that I'll just pause everything so that the video does not run too long guys. Because it's going to be quite long for you to measure the oscillation by itself. Okay, let's see if third time's the charm. Um... 
I will say this is good enough. I mean, you can take 50. I mean, I want it to be 50 because it's easier to plot my graph, lah, but I guess 51 works as well. Okay. I guess it's all. You can just put 50. It doesn't matter. Uncertainty, what? Okay. So now we're going to measure the oscillation again. And after this, I will just highlight the lengths that I'm doing. So like right now, this would be measuring the period for uh, 50 cm. And then I will take two cycles. Okay. Two cycles. And then we will shorten the length again and repeat the process. So the procedure that I had just now was I shorten the string first and then I readjust the pendulum bob so that the mark will meet the wooden dowel again. The wooden dowel is here. Here. Okay. So by doing so, what I'm uh, achieving is, or what I'm accomplishing is, I don't have to move this. Huh? You're not supposed to move this. So I can use the mark to help me make sure that all the distances are correct. All right, let's begin. So approximately five centimeters. Um, I'm going to play it smart now and use shadow projection on my ruler. Okay. Okay, so we have measured, or we have done first reading. I'm just going to write here. First reading. And now we will do the second reading. Second reading is not compulsory. It's just an option for you. If let's say you think that second reading is nicer. Because it would be very sus if, every, if everyone's graph is the same. Alright, so I'm going to repeat again the process and I'm gonna bring this closer a bit to the pen to the wooden double I mean okay so I think by shadow projection I'm gonna move this by five centimeters again somewhere here and release second reading 50 centimeters for X Okay, so we have done the second reading. First is done, second is done. We're going to move to 45 cm. I'll pause the recording and adjust the length as I have done before. Okay, we're back and I have uh, decreased the length by 5 cm, value of x roughly. So this is again for you to take x if you want a more accurate reading because all of the things that I do are just best estimates. Okay, once again, the 100 cm mark is still touching the table. I have not moved the bottom of the ruler. This is the subsequent value of x. It is around 45 cm. Give or take 1 or 2 centimeters. Okay. And now I will measure the uh, period of oscillation. Okay. Notice that the mark is still roughly at the beside the wooden rod 
Okay, so once again, by shadow projection, I will release and you will time the period. Okay, so I'm going to repeat again for the second reading. The same value of x, which is approximately 45, give or take. Okay, so again, I'll move this by approximately 5 cm and I will release. Okay, I think um, there will be a good second reading, which is already completed both. So now we're going to move on to uh, 40 cm x. Alright, and I'll pause the video to adjust the length. Okay, I am back and uh, I have adjusted the length. As you can see, it's uh, quite shorter now. Alright, uh, what I've also done is I have uh, swapped the position of the clamps for the cork and the ruler okay so that i can account for the next value which is 40 meaning this should be hitting at around 60 la. okay so i'm just gonna put this here as a marker for you and try to adjust for some parallax error as well okay so it should be about 60 Again, the camera is no good judge because I'm putting it in my hand. Your eyes will be the best judge if you're here in person. Okay, so 60. And once again, this thing is touching the table at 100 cm. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the whole thing again where I will oscillate the, the pendulum bob and you will measure the period so this is for 40 cm uh first reading okay ready your stopwatch 40 cm first reading take one okay so i'll use shadow projection meaning i'll look at the shadow of the pendulum bob and my ruler is here Nah, shadow of the pendulum board is here. I'll move it to 5 cm. That was how I was doing it. I'm going to leave the camera here so you get a nice front view. Okay. Alright. So I think we can begin now. For TCM, first reading.
Okay, I think you have more than enough cycles for this first reading. I'll repeat again for the second reading. Second reading for 40 cm. Okay, I believe that is enough, more than enough. So second reading is done. You decide how many cycles you want to take. I'm going to pause the video and shorten the length. Okay, we are back and uh, this is 35 cm of X. About to commence the first reading. About to commence the first reading for 35 cm of X. Alright, so once again, I will move the camera up so you can measure the value of X. Okay, so this is a rough guess. Alright, so you can take your reading, it should be about 65. Okay, so I think um, we're going to start taking the period now. Okay. Okay, I think we have more than enough cycles. I'm going to repeat again for the second reading. So approximately 5 cm. Okay, I think we have enough of second readings. We're going to move on to the next length, which is 30 cm. I will pause the video now to adjust the length. Okay, we're back and uh, this looks like 30 cm. Okay, from split cork to end of the box, here to here. No, wait, sorry. 30 cm from the bottom of the split cork to the floor. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat 
the measurement again. And doing the whole shadow projection thing. 5 cm. I'm just going to move it out of the way and oscillate. There we go. Oh, I haven't shown you the X yet. Well, you time this one first. Huh? So this one currently is the TCM. First reading. Okay, I believe we have enough. I'm just going to repeat again for the second reading. Then I will show you the meter rule. Okay, so moving my shadow projection. Go. So currently it's the second reading, yeah. Okay, I believe we have enough. And uh, it is at this point in time where you're at the one, two, three, oh. You're at the sixth reading where I introduce plot twist. Right, let's look at our ruler again. Bottom is at the table. Um, I guess the top of the split cork would be where I'll measure this. So I'm putting my ruler here and try my best to use shadows. I mean, it's a bit hard because the light is not at the lens level as well, so you can't really use the shadow. My light is below the lens. Okay, so I think this is roughly about 70. So indeed, we have 30 cm, but our 30 centimeters is from the base or the table to the position of the cork. And if at this point in time you notice that there's a problem here, it's because this length has essentially became very small. Right? This one is very short already. I don't think I can decrease by another 5 cm. That does not seem possible. Because if I were to just I guess roughly measure here, I have about 6 cm ish. 5.5. Whoops, you can't see my bad. I have about 5.5 cm. And I don't think I want to go that close. Alright? So. What was the issue here? Well, let's uh, look at the drawing or the diagram again. <laughs> if I've made you uncomfortable all this time. Good. Because it is not easy for your friends who are actually doing this to actually set this up. Notice that X we measure from the bob. So all this value of X that we were previously measuring, or that I was pretending to show you, were the readings of X from where to where again, huh? We measured from here all the way here. Hiya, but don't worry lah. You just need to minus five. Okay, so I have tried and uh, made this pendulum bob always at the five cm mark as the best that I can. Okay, so I'm gonna put my fingers at the back so you can read the scale. But the center of the pendulum, which is here. Is always roughly about at the 25 cm mark, which is where the you can pause la, which is where this one and this one should be about the 25 cm mark. 
So what you could do, if let's say this happens to you during the exam, is not to panic, okay? The reason why we uh, want you to draft a table is because right now, what we are doing is, um, we are not going to, we are now going to have to minus 5 cm from all our readings, okay? Because we measured from here to here, but by right, we should decrease by 5. Okay, so step one, I'm going to minus 5 from all my readings, and all the one on top, no need already, no? Because all the one on top, like, not possible. Okay. So if I minus all the reading by 5, I will have 25, 30, okay? And then I will have to transfer all my readings. Understand? Or if you confusion, then never mind. Uh, whatever reading you have, you cancel out. No? This is 25.0. 30.0. So if this is you doing the exam, that is also okay. Just make sure you cancel everything appropriately. Lah. So now you have 50.0. The only remaining problem here is you don't have your 55. Okay, the 55 that was necessary for this one. So what we'll do is we'll repeat the experiment. I will have to readjust the setup. So to increase, I will get another 55. Okay, so in real time, this is an example of how like, oops, what you plan and uh, what you expect is not the same thing. Sorry, I didn't know you couldn't see that part. And it's late, so I'm not going to edit again. Give me a sec, I'll show you. There we go. Okay, so... This is what you can do during the exam. You can legit just leave your table like this. If let's say your, your readings are already here and you don't want to change. But of course, this table is not that neat. It would be better if your table is a draft table and you redraw the whole thing. Lah. Okay. So what is lacking now is the length of 55. Alright. So I'm just going to do this. Move everything up. Okay. So we are missing uh, 55. Okay. So whatever reading you had for 30 cm is actually for 25. Whatever you had for 35 is actually for 30. 40 is actually for 35. 45 is actually for 40. So you keep subtracting by 5. And the reason why we keep subtracting by 5 is because there, here, law. Whoops. Okay, so don't worry. It can happen to all of us. So now, here is how you can triage your exam or your result without too much pain. So we're going to now do 55, okay, which was what we don't have previously. Alright, so all your reading, you just transfer. La. No pain, no gain, guys. No pain, no gain. Okay, whatever reading you had just now. Okay, I don't think this is needed because you have your own reading, right? So whatever reading, just make sure you transfer. Transfer, 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 transfer. So if you say that missed 6 already, can I stop here? No, uh, you still need 55 for the first top reading. Okay, so now we're going to do 55 and uh, I'm going to rearrange the setup. Let me pause the video. Okay, welcome back. I have uh, readjusted the height. Okay, so that I can be 55 cm for X, which is on the ruler, 55 plus 5, so it should be 60. Okay, if none of this makes sense, DM me, la. I will help you understand. Okay, so this is 40. So the distance from the bottom of the pendulum ish, bottom of the pendulum is here. The distance from the bottom of the pendulum, which is where my ruler roughly is, now bottom of the pendulum. Okay, until all the way here is 60 cm. 60. However, when we place the pendulum, i.e. when I drag my baby here down, until the mark is right beside the wooden rod. Okay. Mm. Alright, so somewhere here. There's obviously parallax error because the angle is up, but you can see it's roughly beside the wooden rod. Roughly la. Okay. I will twist this closer a bit. Okay. And uh, when I do so, 
the 5 cm we are supposed to measure 55 from the bob to the cork right so the 5 cm is here to here okay it's about 5 cm all right so the parallax error life I both front and back so if I put side to side it will be 5 cm okay 25 is here right in the middle okay so now we are ready for the final reading before calling it a day I'm gonna readjust your view again so here what we'll do is we will uh, oscillate this twice now we're gonna do for 55 cm once you amend this reading don't forget to change it up here okay okay again displacement 5 cm ready set go Okay, I think that's enough. Let's do the second second reading now. Somewhere here is 5 cm. Let's go. Okay, I think that's more than enough uh, oscillation for you to complete your report. Okay, so just a reminder, sometimes we make mistakes, whether deliberately, whether accidentally or purposely. Okay, so always uh, allow yourself room or the ability to fix those mistakes without trashing the whole report because we're not going to give you another question paper. Okay, so what you can do is you can... Um, cross out the numbers like this okay and it's also okay if let's say you cross it out until you here and you run out of space you can always add it on top or try to make sure that there are a lot of space all around the table so you can make corrections like what i did okay so once again my mistake was i measured or i took readings on the ruler and i told you that hey guys this is 100 <laughs> and we take this reading let's say 40 cm and then we minus so x is 60 but this is not x huh? okay this actual reading is actually x plus 5 cm so what you should need to do is to minus 5 by all the values that we have measured which is here lo. so 30 become 25 35 become 30 40 become 35 and so on and so forth until 55 because the actual 55 that we thought we measured was actually 50 so we need to repeat again and do 55 okay it's also okay if your table is a bit messy as long as you cross out the answer all right so this is real life guys sometimes mistake happen and we have to know how to amend them okay so just a reminder if you are using the lab manual printed by the college that uh <laughs> this symbol is needs corrected uh. this is root x please correct this Okay, and I think the next part that you need to correct is here. This is root x. Okay, so make sure you don't plot the wrong graph. And I think the rest you know what to do. So good luck with your graph. I hope you get a straight line.
Okay, and I hope you know what the correct method is to measure the period of oscillation. Okay, thanks for your patience and good luck with your graph. I'll see you in question two. Take care. Bye-bye now.